get ready for my date. Mm. Oh, I'm good. Okay. I think I'm alright. Yeah, lots of going. Cool as always. I think I'm good to go. Hey, Chris, you're ready already? So, Chris, you must be really anxious for your date. Wait, how, how'd you know about that date? Hey, what are you guys watching on that TV? Wait, how, how is David on TV? He's not on the TV, he's in the TV, silly. God, nobody knows anything around right here. How'd you guys get in my house? He's coming out of the TV. Whoa! Oh, thank God I'm back into three dimension again. Wait, what? What? What are you all doing in my house anyway? Oh, hey, Chris has got a point, you know. I got a sweet old school stick shift parked out of my driveway. It's pretty tight, you know. Come on, Chris. Let's go. Come on, Chris. Come on, what? Chris. No, what? no, Chris, we're going outside. No, I'm we're not going outside. Yeah, we are. No. How did you guys know I was going on a date? And why are you taking me? J just put your hands back on the wheel. Shut up, you're distracting me. I'm driving. No you're not, look out for the- ah! 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 Dude, you almost crashed. Get your hands back on the wheel. And can somebody tell me how you guys knew I had a date? By the way, Chris, your shoes are really cute. I want them. Oh, I am such an idiot. Ah! Arby's! Kushbunch, you idiot. You just crashed us into Arby's. All right, well, let's just back up and get out of here. How stupid. I wasn't even hungry anyway. I'm a DJ. Yeah, hoo hoo. Whoa, hoo. Yeah, hoo. Excelsior! You mean Excelsior? Right. Let's get going to your date, Chris. Goosh runs. Hmm. What's a first kiss like? Well, that's a weird question. Uh, I don't know. It's like, wet, I guess. Well, I, I, I hope it's not too wet. Too wet? How do we too wet? Uh, no, no. No. 
Hey, look, Bro. there's a monster right there. Don't mind him, he's crazy. Anyway, we should just get going to your date, because, I mean, you gotta go. Well, no. Well, maybe I don't want to. Dude, you have to go to your date. Why wouldn't you go to your date? Well, I don't know. I'm not going. No. You have to. You gotta go. I'm not going. Go or else. Make me. Fine. Oh. Oh, Chris. Oh, gosh. I'm just gonna hurt my knee on that one. Oh. Still not going. You know, I'm so sick of you guys. Always you're fighting or you know or stupid stuff. And you, all you, I'm sick of it. Because you know what? All this does is proves that the moon people are better than us. They will harvest the moon cheddar for themselves. And once they do that, once they start harvesting that moon cheddar, we're gonna have to start buying all our cheese from them. And when that happens, it's gonna be Armageddon. You're not gonna end up being able to go on your date. You are just gonna be a loser like usual. And then I am gonna be the one stuck having to try to fix it all. And then I'm gonna be eating a cheese sandwich from the moon that I had to pay $500 for. And I am sick of this. I could just, just snap on somebody. Boom! Sick of it! I think David's right. I should go to my day. Hey, Laura. Hi. What was your day? Okay, so first I wake up and then my cat attacks me. And then after that I fall and then my friends come and pick me up and then I'm trying to come all the way over to Excelsior. But then we crash into Wendy's. And then you know what happens after that? My friend keeps seeing turtles everywhere. Oh, same here, except with a dog and and Arby's and Velociraptors. Oh, and, and speaking of turtles, I used to have a turtle, but then it ran away. Wow, you've got a lot in common. Yeah, what kind of things do you like? Uh, I like techno. Oh, me too. I like romance movies. Me too. And I like shopping for shoes. <gasps> me too. Girl, that is such a cute shoe. <laughs> wow, we do have a lot in common. You don't. You smell good. You. You too. Oh, I'm sorry. Was that creepy? No, not not at all. Let's go somewhere. Where? I don't know. Let's go. Okay. Yeah, 
sure. And now I'm going to pass it over to Chris to uh, see what he thinks about uh, how the movie went. Well, you see, I would much rather take off all my clothes and dive right into that lake than watch that movie. Well, as I'm sure you can imagine, this has been a very demeaning experience for me. You realize that there could be children watching this, right? Do you? In fact, even calling this movie terrible would be giving it high praise. It seems that the English language simply does not contain a word su suitable to uh, describe this movie. There, there is cake, isn't there? <coughs> um, um, we are very sorry for the inconvenience. Uh, there may have been some technical difficulties and, and miscommunications involved. Uh, Chris was not supposed to say that... Mm -hmm.